All right, lads, so I'm just doing a little video here just talking about the number one sort of training you need to be doing in order to get, you know, a bit of, in order to get the results you want fitness and health-wise. You know, a lot of the times when it comes to training for lads, for males, you know, there's not really much out there for lads 30 to 50 years of age. There's plenty out there for athletes or lads, you know, playing sports and things like that. And there's plenty out there for young lads or lads that have plenty of time in their hands to be in sculpting guns and doing heavy lifting and all that sort of crack. But in terms of the, the average Joe lad who just wants to be a bit fitter, a bit healthier, or maybe lose a bit of the gut, get in better shape, and still have time to do everything else they need to do in life, you really be, need to be making the most of your time, whatever time you do have. So the number one training you need to be doing to get decent results out of it is resistance training. And this doesn't mean you're kind of in doing like bodybuilding stuff, or you're going to look like Arnie Schwarzenegger or any crack like that. But basically what resistance training is, is just anything that's resistance, like press-ups, squats, lunges, anything like that. And then you can add in weights, we dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever. But it's just lifting or pushing anything, pulling anything that's a resistance. Um, so that's basically what you want to be doing. And the benefit of it is, or the, the real way to do it is, to hit every muscle group in the body. So if you're hitting the front, the back, upper, lower, the legs, you know, the chest, all these areas, you want to be hitting every muscle group in the body. And what that does is every muscle group in the body then is working hard, burning calories, and the muscle tissue is actually broken down so that after the workout, it's going to grow and repair and be ready for the next workout, which also creates a massive metabolic effect known as EPOC, excess post oxygen consumption, where you will, um, you'll be basically burning calories after your workout, which is a huge bonus compared to a lot of other training routines like cardio, where you're, you'll not burn as many calories afterwards. Um, so the problem, the other benefit of resistance training is that there's also a lot more fun, it's going to be a lot more varied and you won't get the kind of boredom that you get with say cardio where running on the treadmill for an hour, running the roads, you know the bike, treadmill, uh, rower, uh, stepper, all this sort of stuff, you know it can get very boring and monotonous and that's great again for if you have real specific goals for an athlete or if you want to stand on stage, uh, you know with a ripped six pack and stuff like that you know, if you're really committed and all that. But, like I say, most la most men in their 30s to 50s don't have that luxury. They have a lot of other stuff going on in their life and they're just looking after their health and fitness. So they have to be manage their time a lot better and try and get good resistance training in, hit every muscle group in the body, get the body bone and fat, um, and then, you know, you're off to the races from there. Um, it's Like I said, it's very good for time, anything from 20 to 40 minute workout and you know you'll get loads in compared to the time commitments you have to give to other types of training another thing is you won't blow up and um, some some lads don't want to blow up and they think they lift a few weights will other lads think they're that it's easy to blow up and they want to lift a few weights and then get frustrated when it doesn't happen but that's a different type of training really to what kind of i'm talking about here that's if you want to blow up you need to be doing real heavy lifting you want to be really focused on your diet you need to be very committed day in, day out, week in, week out. And in terms of the real stupid pictures, you see a guy's massive walking about, like they're carrying two fridges under their arm or whatever. You know, they're probably, they're on steroids really. So you're not going to get like that. So there's no need to worry about that. Um, you just need to focus on doing your own training three or four times a week and that will give you loads of benefits. And then you can always up it and change your program going from there, depending on, you know, your goals, the time you have available, all all things that are very specific and unique to your situation. Um, so that's probably basically it really. I just kind of want to cover that, just kind of give a bit of information out there because resistance training is very, well training in general, but resistance training is very misunderstood of what can be done for uh, for certain people. Um, so for the average guy, there's loads you can do that suits your schedule, suits your, suits your lifestyle and will help your health and benefits health and fitness benefits i should say all right so that's basically it in a nutshell if uh, if you have any questions just post them below and let me know what you're thinking so thanks for watching chat to you soon